Have you ever heard the term lactose intolerant? You probably heard it from one of your friends or maybe a family member. But for anyone who hasn't heard of this, or maybe you're not quite sure what it is, we'll give you a full and quick explanation about it. Before we begin, make sure to comment down below if you're lactose intolerant. I actually am, but hey, it won't stop me from eating some good ice cream. To start off, let's break down the term lactose intolerant. Lactose is a natural sugar commonly found in dairy products such as milk, cheese, yogurt, and of course in delicious ice cream. On the other hand, intolerant means unable to fully digest or absorb a specific food or drug. So now that we know what each word means, when we combine them to lactose intolerance, it means the inability to break down lactose. Like we said a few seconds ago, lactose is a sugar commonly found in normal dairy products, but there's actually a lot of other products that contain lactose, such as bread, baked goods, salad dressings, sauces, and your typical cup of noodles. Yes, there's actually dairy in your cup of noodles. If you want to know the product you're purchasing contains any milk products, check the nutrition facts and look for a section called ingredients. These are the actual ingredients listed for cup of noodles on Amazon. Us humans are all born capable of breaking down lactose. But there are three main causes for this condition. One of them is called primary lactose intolerance. This is when a person's digestive system is able to break down lactose in their early years but later is unable to digest lactose. Let's use this infant as an example. He's chilling getting all his nutrients from his mother's milk. His body is constantly producing a special substance called lactase. Lactase is an enzyme that breaks down lactose into simple sugars called glucose and galactose, which is a lot easier for your body to absorb to use as a fuel to power your day. Eventually, when the infant gets older and replaces the milk with other foods, their production of lactase decreases since he isn't constantly consuming dairy. Although it decreased, he still has enough to break down a normal adult's dairy consumption. But as time passes and the child gets into his adulthood, their body significantly reduces the amount of lactase production, which in return causes them to have difficulty breaking down lactase. Now you're asking yourself, what are the causes of not being able to fully digest lactose? Well, let me tell you, it's not pretty. It causes diarrhea, nausea, stomach cramps, bloating, gas, and sometimes vomiting. It's quite harmless, so I wouldn't get too concerned. Now, the second reason for the causes of lactose intolerance is called secondary lactose intolerance. This is caused when a person gets injured, has surgery, or contracts an illness that involves the small intestine, which affects the person's ability to break down enzymes. A few diseases that can cause this are called intestinal infection, celiac disease, bacterial overgrowth, and Crohn's disease. According to the Mayo Clinic, getting these diseases treated can restore normal lactase levels over time. Last but not least, it's congenital or developmental lactose intolerance. This one is a bummer. It's when someone is born with insufficient lactase. So the poor baby won't be able to fully absorb all the nutrients the mother is giving to the baby to make the baby stronger. If you're Hispanic, Asian, African, or American Indian descent, you're more likely to be lactose intolerant. It is said that this condition is passed on from generation to generation through genes. Some genes are said to be more likely to have lower lactase production levels. One day in the near future, we're probably all going to be lactose intolerant. We're actually almost getting there. According to the U.S. National Library of Medicine, approximately 65% of the human population has a reduced ability to digest lactose after infancy. They also say lactose intolerance in adulthood is more prevalent in people of East Asian descent, with 70 to 100% of people affected in these communities. Now that's a good market to sell lactate pills, big money. 
These are the lactate supplement pills that are taken alongside dairy products to remove those unwanted side effects. But if you decided to sell these lactate pills to people from Northern Europe, you'll barely make any money for your lunch. Genetics Home Reference states that only about 5% of people of Northern European descent are lactose intolerant. Now that's impressive. If you're curious to know why it is that Northern Europeans have only 5% of people with lactose intolerance, while people from East Asian descent have almost 100% of people with lactose intolerance, the reason is due to how their ancestors lived and how much they depended on milk. When you consume lactase, it goes into your stomach where it slightly gets broken down. After this, it heads to your small intestine. This is where lactase fully breaks down lactose. But since people with lactose intolerance have lower amounts of these enzymes, not all the lactose sugars are fully broken down. When it finishes going through the small intestine, it heads over to your large intestine, where it comes into contact with bacteria. This bacteria is commonly present in your large intestine called coliform bacteria. When it comes into contact with the lactose sugars, it starts fermenting the lactose which produces a byproduct of acid and gases. This is when the uncomfortable symptoms of bloating and gassing start kicking in. Did you know you can actually get a lactose intolerant test? You can go to your doctor and ask him for a test. I'm going to teach you a few ways to get tested. First is a simple lactose intolerance test where the doctors test your blood. They measure your body's reaction to a liquid that contains high lactase levels. The second method is called a hydrogen breath test. This method is quite interesting. It involves consuming a drink with high levels of lactose. As we said before, if the small intestine can break down the lactose, the large intestine starts the fermentation of the lactose. The fermentation releases hydrogen along with other gases that eventually get absorbed into your body and you exhale the hydrogen along with the other gases. If your body can properly break down lactose and you start exhaling higher amounts of hydrogen in your breath, the doctor can tell if you're lactose intolerant or not. Last but not least is the stool acidity test. It's mainly used on infants and children so do not request this one to your doctor or you might not be his favorite client anymore. So this one is simple, it just measures the amount of lactic acid in the stool sample. Lactic acid accumulates when fermentation occurs in your large intestine. I hope you guys enjoyed my short explanation on what lactose intolerance means. If you enjoyed it, please consider subscribing and leave a comment below to suggest a video or just to tell me your favorite part. Thank you all and see you on the next video.